Hello, and it's Saturday today. I was really, really inspired by this uh, layout that I found on Maggie Holmes' blog. It's by Kim, and she has a blog that is called Happy Like Yellow. That blog and Maggie's will be down below. Anyway, I was really inspired by this layout, and I thought I really want to make one myself. So that is sort of what I did. So I dug into my scrap little tin and pulled out a lot of pieces. So I decided I wanted to go from sort of blue cool color to more warm color. So uh, on the left side I will have blue green that kind of stuff and then yellow peach pink on the right one. And there are like a lot of different brands. There are Prima, Teresa Collins, We Are Memory Keepers, Dear Lizzie, Maggie Holmes, I don't know, so many different anyway. So I really wanted to start with a fresh um, white background. I will change that in a bit. Uh, <laughs> but then to go with all these kind of different patterns that doesn't seem to mix at all and then just make it work. So I'm going to lay them out uh, in sort of squares and then I'm going to, like the Kim's layout, going to stitch uh, squares on top of it. So that is sort of what I do and I'm going to pick a lot of them. Um, just different colors, um, just going to see like there was no thought about it, just like it just match sort of, okay? So here I'm going to stitch and um, a very creative camera angle. <laughs> so what I do, I took a post-it note and put it down and then stitch around that. So it's a square around the post-it and not around the... Uh, well, you can see. Like the... it's not... like it doesn't frame any specific paper, it's just a random square, sort of. And I really love how this look because it sort of adds a different sort of layer and push the papers a bit back. Um, and I really like how that turned out. So I, Definitely will try that more um, and I really like how the colors work together despite there are so many different collection and different colors and use of the different colors so yeah I'm really happy I found this layout well it wasn't like I found it I check her blog all the time <laughs> but you know what I mean okay so yeah <laughs> So that is how I took uh, different colors and that is stitching so now I have stitched it all and I'm going to mat my photo so you can't really see it stitching all that well, uh, but it's a lot of it. <laughs> so here I have some papers and I'm going to mat it on that grey one and that is from uh, a really old collection by Prima. Uh, I think it's like Moulin Rouge maybe? I can't believe I remember that kind of stuff, but you know, we have different things to remember. <laughs> so this is going to be the title of my story. The title is going to be my story. I cannot talk today. Um, and, uh, well, it's actually a photo of my mom took when I was sitting down uh, at a dinner table and painting. She has made this sort of drawing board for me. Uh, really sweet of her. Um, so, yeah. Maybe one day I will have an entire album of things uh, that I've painted or something. But for now, it's a layout. <laughs> so, some white for the corners because I really like it. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, but in, I mean, I do add some elements. I'm going to add some flowers by Maggie Holmes in the open book and the title and uh, some a chipboard arrow and all that. But it's not that a lot of embellishments on this layout because I sort of feel that the background can carry its own. I think it's very interesting and very fun without being overwhelming. I mean, you know what to focus on. Um, but I think it's really fun. I really do. Yay for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to pop that up on some foam just to give it a bit more... It's, it is... It's, oh my gosh. Okay, this foam is not very high, so... But I did decide to add this little vellum by K and Company, I think, and I have had that forever and not used it. Um, in retrospect, I think I would prefer not to put it on. Um, I mean, I do like that it's a bit darker. I mean, it's not a big, dark, like, this anchors the photo, but 
um, and you can still see the elements through so that is I think why I let it be but uh, I think it could carry its own without it too so um, these gold thickers from Maggie Holmes I think we all love them and I think we all hoard them I know we all hoard them <laughs> this is my second sheet of them uh, just by the way and uh, yeah so I'm going to put that I'm going to write the story and then I'm going to use the sentiment thickers um, in gold to write my so I'm going to do that and then of course the camera will cut off so I'm going to tell you what I do I'm going to take some pumice stone um, distress ink and I'm going to smudge that above and below this kind of paper cluster to make it a bit more watercolory effect and then I'm going to add some yellow flowers from Maggie Holmes and also some pearls and some journaling but that is about it so there you can see and a little gold arrow from uh, create paper so that is it I mean it's a really simple layout uh, I really love it I hope you like it uh, so check out the blogs below mine there's all of it uh, I'm so happy with I will definitely try this again uh, and I hope you have a really good Saturday and I hope to see you on Wednesday okay bye